This is Stephen, the Disney driver of Robinson. You're watching the one and only Sport Icon. Bow bow! Alright everyone, so I've been seeing quite a lot of you drop comments asking me, am I going to do a video on Tyson Fury calling out the Central Area Champion? Now, I think, uh, to be honest, I think a lot of you have asked me to do that. It's because you know what the reaction is going to be like. Because firstly, I'm going to tell the truth on it. And some Tyson Fury fanatical fans, not his fans, but his fanatical fans, are going to get a little bit upset about me telling the truth about this whole situation about the area belt. Because, as a lot of you know, Tyson Fury has, for the past few years now, ever since he won the WBC belt from Deontay Wilde in their rematch, he's been saying how he's won every belt that the heavyweight division has to offer. And, of course, when I say it, when I repeat it, that Tyson Fury, you know what, we can say what we like about him outside the ring. They can be a bit of a knob and what have you, and a liar. But inside the ring, he's a phenomenal boxer, and he has won every belt that the heavyweight division has to offer, with the exception of the central area belt. And I've said that hundreds of times, and I've never heard anybody else say it. But some people saw me as hating, and I have to bring it up, and it's not true, and Tyson Fury, he couldn't fight for it, and you know what people are like. But anyway, Tyson Fury has said that now he wants to fight for the Central Area heavyweight title. Whoever the champion is. Now, to my knowledge, is Chris Healy. He defeated, uh, what was his name, Danny Whitaker. Although, I think he previously lost to him as well, if I remember rightly. But anyway, um, Chris Healy, if of course he is the guy, which I believe he is, he's been in there with a lot of fighters. Always comes up short, unfortunately. Has he, has he got a quite good of like nine wins and 12, 13 losses or something? Anyway, he's been there with like Nick Webb, got beat by Nick Webb, um, David Adelaide, Fabio Wardley, and in fact, it was only a couple of weeks ago, he lost to Jay McFarlane as well. Anyway, to my knowledge, he's still... The central area champion now tyson fury fighting him then of course if he was to defeat chris healy which of course you would fully expect him to do so would then have won every bout that the heavyweight, heavyweight division has to potentially offer of course he's won all of the bouts including the irish heavyweight championship as well by the way now here's a bit that some people are not going to like it's never going to be sanctioned Okay, so if, if Tyson Fury sits, which you imagine he probably is, because he would love nothing more than to fight a Chris Healy of the world, who is no better, no worse than a Tom Schwartz or a, um, a Safer Safari, these kind of guys, right? But nobody's going to sanction it. It can't be sanctioned. Do you know why? Because he would need to get his British Boxing Border Control license. Firstly, how do we know that? Because the area champions are governed by whom? Yeah, the British Boxing Board of Control. So, he'd have to do that. Um, he'd have to enrol in UCAD as well, as all British license holders have to. Has Tyson Fury been enrolling in UCAD over the last few years since he gave up or, or refused to renew his British Boxing Board of Control license because he considered himself an American fighter? Has he been taking UCAD? Obviously, that's the one that uh, he failed on uh, back in uh, 2000, the early part of 2015. But I don't know um, if he's currently enrolled in UCAD anyway maybe he's doing it as a voluntary thing I don't know but of course as WBC heavyweight world champion he has to be enrolled in VADA now is he enrolled in UCAD hey listen you know what I'll I'll leave you all to speculate as to why he's not signed up to him if of course he isn't which I believe that he isn't but you never know um but as I said before he'll never ever be able to fight Chris Healy for that belt the British Box Border Control wouldn't sanction it anyway. They would consider it a complete mismatch. It will never, ever happen. Ever. In a million years, is that possible to happen? Unless, of course, they're open to take some kind of bribes to sanction it. Because, in theory, that's murder, isn't it? You put Tyson Fury in there with Chris Healy, what do you think is going to happen? Could very well be a murder. There could be, right? Tyson Fury is... Listen, I don't have to say how much better he is than Chris Healy. Again, I like Chris Healy, by the way. But, no, the board would never sanction it, even if he enrolled himself into UCAD, even if he got his British, British Boxer Border Control license back again, even then, the board would not sanction it. They wouldn't sanction it. So, unfortunately, Tyson, and it sounds horrible, but you're going to have to finish up your career knowing that you never won every belt that the heavyweight division has to offer. And there's nothing wrong with that. The area belt, 
not that important, is it? The important ones, he's won. He's won the British, the Commonwealth, the Irish, the European, and all world-level ones. WBC, WBA, WBO, IBO, IBF, Ring Magazine. He's won all of them. What do you really need the Central Area belt? It is not going to happen. Be a complete mismatch. The board will never sanction it. And, of course, Tyson isn't going to go to the British Basketball Board of Control and renew his licence anyway, is he? And for those of you who don't know, the board wasn't part of his last fight with Dillian White. Okay, so... Anyway, food for thought. Personally, I think he's just trolling. But at the same time, yes, of course, if he was offered the opportunity, of course he'd take it. Of course he would. Why wouldn't you? Then he can legitimately say, I've won every belt the heavyweight division has to offer. But unfortunately, he hasn't. Okay, not hate, it's truth. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you next video.